Hey guys, and happy July 3rd. So I just wanted to quickly share with you a haul that I received, I think sometime last week, um, but I was out of town and finally was able to open it and see what it was. And it is um, my Lavender and Speckles Roadshow haul. And so if you're not familiar with Lavender and Speckles, Beth is the owner and her website is lavenderandspecklesense.com. So there's her contact. Um, she's also, she's always attached a thank you and here's her husband and her uh, and she has her QR code. And then now she's started including wax melting instructions um, based on their, she's starting to do, she does power soy, but then she's also starting to do um, her new olive oil formula. I don't think I picked up any of the new olive oil formula. I think I just got um, her shapes or her bags because I, I, if you know me by now, I do not like chopping. So I think I just got her shapes, um, but really nice that she's including that because when I do happen to order some of the olive oil blends, I won't know how to melt it. And I think, I think for the most part here, it says it's super soft um, and it can be cut with a butter knife. So if it's soft, it should perform well in any, um, like since you warm a hot plate and anything like that. Um, and then a invoice, which is always good. And then uh, a sticker, which is super cute um, with her name on it too. So, Let's dive in. So I did get a few large bags, but I also did get a few small bags to just try it. Um, I wanted to, to really support everyone in this May pre-order roadshow, um, but I didn't want to go like super crazy. So I got two large bags, one of which is a repeat and I was running low on it. And so I was like, I need to get more. But I actually kind of feel like I like Palo Santa more with the roasted pine cones. But if you just like her uh, donut shop and Palo, this is an amazing blend. You've heard me rant about anything uh, of Beth's Palo Santo. It is so amazing. This is just cinnamon sugar donuts and Palo Santo. Um, for my top 10, I talked about the strawberry pound cake and Palo, but any of her Palo blends, you have to get into it. She has a really creamy Palo. She actually put Palo on the map for me because I really typically don't like Palo. Um, I do not like the super cologne woodsy ones. This is, this is got a slight woodsy tone, but it also is extremely creamy. It's just a really pretty Palo. It's just an amazing blend. It's just so cozy and welcoming anytime. So really love this blend. That's why I was like, I need to get a large bag. I think I have a few of the little bunts left in the large bag that I got. Maybe I want to say in the fall time frame. So this will be good for the summer fall time frame before I have to stock up again. So really excited to have more of that. And then I think this was Candace's blend. Um, Wax to Love. If you don't know, go check out her channel. I think she put this on there as a recommendation. This is Key Lime Sugar Cookies and Strawberry Pound Cake. I am obsessed with, this is Tart Key Lime Buttercream Sugar Cookie Royale and Pie Crust Plus Strawberry Pound Cake. I also love Beth's Strawberry Pound Cake. And her Key Lime, this is a Tart Key Lime. But that strawberry pound cake really creams it out. I feel like this is a really heavy key lime. I'm not getting much graham cracker. Um, I mean, or a graham cracker. I'm not getting much sugar cookie royale um, at the moment. I'm mainly just getting that tart key lime and strawberry pound cake. I'm not getting much cookie. So I'll sit and let this cure. I have more than enough wax to get through to see if this, um, it says here that they're good to warm after 613. So they're good to go. I typically do warm right away, but like I said, right now I'm not getting much cookie. But key lime is pretty strong and so is her strawberry pound cake. So um, we'll just give it some time and see. All right. Another one that I was super excited to try is her Sweet Home Alabama. 
Uh, this is roasted pine cones and French bourbon. This was formerly her bourbon pine cones from her roasted pine cone sampler. I really wanted the pine cone sampler, but I was like, how much more wax am I gonna have? So I passed on that. But out of all of them, this was one that I really wanted to try. So I'm glad that she brought it back and had it in a small bag to try. And this is just really good. You get that roasted pine cone, but that bourbon is super creamy. It's got a little bit of that kick. Um, almost kind of, I don't want to say woodsy. I mean, it does smell like bourbon, but not like, oh my God, punch you in the face kind of note. Um, so really excited to try that. Now we'll get back in bed. Yeah, you really get a, a, a bourbon scent and the pine cone. So I'm really excited to try that one. Super excited. All right, sorry, my hand's itchy. Another one that I'm now hitting myself that I didn't get a bigger bag was Cookie Cat. Look at how cute that is. This is Palo Frosted Sugar Cookies, Marshmallow Donut Shop, which is Vanilla Buttercream, Sugar Cookie Royale, Palo Santo, Fireside Marshmallows, Donut Shop, and Pie Crust. I'll say that a couple of times fast. So I feel like if you really like her donut shop and you love the, like the, Paolo, the one that I just talked about, donut shop and Palo, you would definitely love this one. I actually kind of feel like this is 120 times more creamy and this one I think is gonna be my new fave. So again, if you love donut shop and Palo, this is just gonna be like your new fave because that Palo frosted sugar cookie is just giving it an extra, hint of sweetness that frosted like kind of buttercream this is so good it almost kind of gives me like a frosted cookie with that smoky palo marshmallow fireside this is really good it kind of reminds me of i think she had a marshmallow fireside with palo and something else it kind of gives me that vibe a little bit i don't know what that one's called it might be Apollo and Marshmallow Fireside. I don't know, but this is phenomenal. I wish I will be needing more of this in some format or another, but this should last me. I can get two warms out of this. I typically use three bunts when I warm lavender and speckles, and that is good. Um, and I just put it in three warmers, but lately I've been going like all out and doing like six or seven warmers because I do have eight warmers in my open concept. I just don't fill them all because I just don't have the patience to empty them. So that I'm definitely going to need more of. All right. Another one that I added last minute, it wasn't on my original list, was is Cake Cake Cake. Look at that packaging. How cute. Just like the cookie cat. This is strawberries, pound cake, pumpkins, pumpkin, pecan waffles, and birthday cake. And this is just sweet, sweet, sweet. So if you like strawberries, like fresh kind of picked strawberry, not really, I mean, it does give me strawberry pound cake vibes, but at first sniff, I get that fresh picked strawberry. And then as I continue to smell, I get more of that pound cake and pumpkin pecan waffles. The pump, I don't get any birthday cake. Pumpkin pecan waffles is pretty strong, but I love a good pumpkin pecan waffles. That's what sold me on this one. I was like, I need more pumpkin pecan waffles. This is just, super creamy, super sweet, like amazing blend. So excited to have that. I might have to pick up more of that. All depends, again, if I can fill, like my drawers are overflowing. All right, and then this one is um, almost similar scent notes of Vanilla Waves from Scentsy. Uh, I honestly think this is 100 times better. This is Vanilla Surf. This is creamy vanilla, toasted marshmallow, driftwood, and sea salt. So I feel like if this performs really well, I might be able to tell my mom to take Vanilla Waves out of her club. And this one, you get more of that driftwood sea salt than you do, I mean, the vanilla and the marshmallow is there, but I actually kind of like this one better because the one note that I'm not really a fan of in Vanilla Waves is the sticky caramel because as you have watched all my videos, I'm getting wax everywhere, I'm not a fan of Sensi's Caramel. So this one is really nice because you don't get that burnt kind of note. You just get a creamy vanilla, 
really nice sea salt marshmallow kind of tone. And this one I feel like is perfect for now to just like for the spring summer season. So I'm glad I have that to try. All right, and last but definitely not least is Sophisticated. You know me by now. I am completely obsessed with Angel Share. Um, I don't even know who got me into Angel Share. I think it might have been Swanky. But this is a cognac, cinnamon, hazelnut, vanilla, praline, oak wood, and it's Angel Share type. So I wanted to see how um, Beth's was. And this is really good. This is exactly like Swanky. Um, this to me is a little creamier, more on, more vanilla and more of that kind of, I don't want to say maybe it's hazelnut. It's more creamy vanilla, um, and not as perfumey. Like it's still the same, but I'm on cold. That's what I'm getting. So I have so much angel share from Swanky. I think I have a, a loaf and then I have some shapes, but I shared some of my shapes with other folks, but this is a really good angel share. I feel like this is pretty comparable to um, the perfume and I love that perfume. I have, that's what I was gifted for from Christmas for my hubby and I'm glad that I have it. And then I got a sample in Blackberry Pumpkin Souffle. And this is truly a pumpkin souffle scent. And I am not really a fan of pumpkin souffle oil. So that's primarily what I'm getting. I'm getting a hint of blackberry, but I'm primarily getting pumpkin. This one's really nice though. I mean, again, it's not typically my vibe, but I do like blackberry. So thank you so much Beth for the sample. So I might even put that in with vanilla. That might be a good mix. So, but that's it guys. That is my Lavender and Speckles Road Show Haul from the May pre-order. And I'm super excited because I was so happy that she offered these additional blends to try because I am still in love with Herb Donut Shop and the Roasted Pine Cones. And I really like the Beach Nights and Beach Night Cookies. But the fact that I was able to try and get additional blends, I was super excited and that the selection was great. So as always, thank you so much for um, making incredible wax, Beth. Uh, I'm looking forward to diving into that and maybe getting more uh, of Cookie Cat because that is smells like an amazing blend. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great July 4th and stay safe and comment below and let me know what you have been getting into and if you purchase any of these blends from the Roadshow of Lavender and Speckle. So talk to you all soon. Take care.